Jalen Turner and Jamie Malarkey in the lightweight division. Jamie Malarkey at plus 110 as the underdog. He's got very solid boxing going out there, falling, his lo falling in love with his hands a little bit, kind of like Justin Gaethje in the lightweight division, but going out there, knocking out Kama Worthy, and then knocking out Devontae Smith. Um, Kama Worthy, he doesn't really have the best chin, no longer in the UFC, and then Devontae Smith kind of gassed out a little bit in that fight, but um, Jamie Malarkey showed really solid striking in the Devontae Smith fight showed he can eat a few punches as well showed really good body strikes and he's, he's young in his career so is Jalen Turner but if I'm going to be honest with you Jalen Turner is going to have that striking advantage and if Jamie Malarkey is going to win it's not going to be how he did his last two and knocking out Jalen Turner is going to be going out there trying to wrestle and grapple we, we know that Jamie Malarkey can go out there and land a few takedowns and, and control the fight a little bit but I mean watching Jalen Turner's last fight with your Madik showing how good Jalen Turner's wrestling and grappling has improved. I'm going to go Jalen Turner. I'm pretty confident about this one, actually, because Jalen Turner is going to be three inches taller. He's going to have a one and a half inch reach advantage. He's got the better boxing. I think he's slightly, um, I, I, I would say pretty even power there, but he slightly throws. <coughs> Sorry, I had some acid come out of my, my throat right there. <coughs> oh, geez, it burns. Oh, God. That's not good. But, yeah, Jalen Turner, but... I kind of lost my, my train of thought right there. But, yeah, Jalen Turner is going to be, in my opinion, the better striker. He's got the better boxing. Not going to be more powerful. I think Jamie Malarkey, one-punch power, might have the slight advantage. But Jamie's going to get pieced up, in my opinion, here. Maybe he might have the advantage in terms of cardio and in terms of volume later on as the fight goes. But... Jalen Turner with the height, with the reach. Uh, he, he should have the better boxing here. He should defend the takedowns, keep the fight on the feet for the full three rounds. I don't think we're going to see a finish here. I know Jamie Malarkey tends to get a lot of his wins by finish, and I know Jalen Turner also tends to get a lot of his wins by finish, but Jamie Malarkey is a very tough guy. I don't think he's been finished, uh, except for maybe one time. It, it was two times early in his career by Alexander Volkanovsky and then Luke Howe, the big right there back in 2016. So I don't think we see a finish here. I think Jalen Turner outstrikes to a unanimous decision. Really good fight in the lightweight division.